Hello. As you might be able to tell today, I have come to the Lake District again. I've, I'm here for a couple of days dedicated to making videos and hopefully shooting some beautiful landscapes. I got here yesterday evening, the weather was pretty cloudy, pretty, pretty grey, and I hopefully got a couple of pretty decent moody shots. It's still raining this morning, so I'm still subject to that British weather, but it is forecast to clear up later on. So I'm going to get up into the mountains again, and I've got a little spot picked out uh, that hopefully I'm going to get a really nice sunset at about 7pm tonight. But I've got lots to do between now and then. It is pretty wet at the moment, I'll show you. Right, let's go. I'll just show you very quickly the little place I'm staying in. This is a nice little B&B called Grisdale Lodge. I'll put a link to that down below if you're ever in the Ullswater area, which is where I am today. Very simple, quite small, but they are very friendly here. So it's been a nice stay so far. Okay, so I'm parked up, I've set off, I've got all the provisions I need, and I'm gonna be going up here. It does go a lot higher once you go behind that, and as you can see already, we're in a pretty decent landscape, so we should be getting some great shots. It is still raining, the sun's coming out though, so all is looking good. Let's go. So I've just stopped to take a time lapse of the scene here. Um, it's funny because every time I come on these trips, as you start climbing up the mountain, these kind of views start opening themselves up. And it, the temptation is just to stop and shoot absolutely everything because you're just overwhelmed about how beautiful it is. The thing is, don't get carried away because, especially if you're on limited time, which I'm not today, so I do have time to stop. But if you're on limited time, just keep climbing sometimes because the views you find just get better and better and better the higher you go up. So then when you get back, you put the, these images lower down the mountain into your computer and you're just a little bit underwhelmed by them, even though at the time of shooting they were incredible. So use your time wisely and there could always be something much better the higher you get. That's the message. This could be one of the most epic time lapses I've ever taken. If you ever do come to the Lake District, one of the places you've got to visit is this little bad boy here. It's a lot bigger than it looks in the picture. Just there, that is Helvellyn. And to get to Helvellyn, you've got to go across Striding Edge, which is fascinating. People have died there. It is dangerous, but it is stunning. It's a challenge and it's just great fun, apart from anything. So if you're in the area, definitely want to visit. Left or right, left or right, left or right. There's always choices to make. That is the sheer wall that I've got to climb up. Not particularly easy, especially when you're filming at the same time. Three points of contact, as my dad used to tell me. It does work. There we go. Up and up and up. Fitness is improving. Been out running a bit, still hard, but it's not as bad as last time. Arrgh. It's severely windy now, so I really do hope you can hear me, but I do love this moment. I've got my cap on because my hair will be all over the place otherwise, 
but I love this moment when you're just about to get to the top because all day so far I've been looking at this view and although it's beautiful I'm about to get to the top and 50% of the views I'm going to see today are about to open up to me so let's get to the top and see what that looks like I'm very very excited <laughs> okay so I'm at the top I'm having to hold on to my hat because it's so so windy but I've got those 360 degree views with I'm gonna have to go and find some shelter so I can have my dinner and hopefully oh, I don't think I'm gonna be capturing that many images up here. Yeah. <laughs> it's not particularly pleasant I've got to say. Oh. Okay, so I found somewhere a little bit more sheltered from that wind to have my lunch. That was insane. I hope you could hear what I was saying. I'm still pleased I came up here. Every time I do, it gives me such a boost. Maybe it's the exercise, maybe it's just being above it all. It really gives me a lift. And I defy anyone to come up here and not feel the same. If you're feeling down, if you're feeling a little bit low, doing something like this will just do you the world of good. I really do believe that. It's nice having a couple of days away as well. I'm dedicating it to photography, which is what I love to do. I do miss my family though, but when I come up here, it really makes me reflect on what's important in life. And for me, that is my family. There's no doubt about it. Although work does have to form a big part of that. Uh, and at the moment, this is my work. So you still need to do it. You still need to dedicate yourself to it and sometimes dedicate some time to it. And that includes being away from your family now and again. So it's important to come away, make the most of it. Don't waste time, be busy, get done what you need to get done. And then it all will have been worth it. So talking about it being worth it, I need to get up off my backside and take some photos. I'm gonna film some footage around where I am, try and capture some good images from the top here. That wind is so strong that it's changing every single second. One minute it's really cloudy, the next minute it's sunny. So there's a lot going on, there's a lot to think about and there's possibly some good images to capture. I don't think it's gonna to be top notch shots, but I will do my best and we'll see. I've still got that one big sunset shot which I came for uh, on the way back down today. Like I, like I say, the wind could affect that though. There is some good cloud at the moment that could really produce some really nice color in the sky, but you never know. Because of that wind, it could, anything could happen, but you've got to be in the right place at the right time to make it happen. And if you're not, you're not going to get it. So I'm going to be there. What will be, will be, and I'll show you the results at the end. That's the shot I'm sort of going for. The wind's actually died down a little bit. It's changing so fast that every shot I take on the camera is, is looking different. And some of the images that it's creating are, I think are gonna be spectacular. There's the sun coming through the clouds, shining down on the tarn in the distance there. I'm just gonna grab another one. Every shot's gonna be different. The light's changing so quickly. I was gonna stay here for sunset. I might do, I might not. The winds, if the winds die down enough, then I might do. The cloud is now coming in a bit lower over the mountains. Things are changing all the time. That is where I've just come from. This is getting quite frustrating now. There is some beautiful light coming through the clouds, but the hill fog just will not clear. And um, so I've started to make my way down to, down to that tarn that you could see earlier. I can maybe capture a sunset over there, back into the blue sky that you can sort of see over my shoulder here maybe get some of that golden light because uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to see the sunset because of that hill fog. Okay, so I got up to the tarn and that hill fog has just come in right across there now. I don't really have time to stop and get a shot. I did get this shot of this waterfall, so it's not, all is not must again. Again though, it hasn't quite been the day that I'd hoped for. Uh, but I think now I'm gonna end the vlog there. If you see a few pictures after this, 
before the outro, then it means I will have captured a few shots. If not, then I hope you've enjoyed it. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. How do you think I did? Good, bad, not so good? Let me know, I wanna hear from you. Also subscribe to the channel, there's videos going up every Wednesday and every Sunday and lots more of these vlogs as the channel continues to grow. You watching really means a lot, I appreciate everyone out there. I'm Adam, this is First Man Photography, out.